Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we shall see question from June 2014 consisting of 4.75 marks. The question says, given y, which is defined on the half-closed interval 0 to infinity, closed at 0, this function is continuously differentiable function. That means the function and its derivatives, they are continuous functions, right? And it satisfies this condition. That means this function is the solution of this integral equation. Then they are asking where this time is greater than the variable t is greater than or equal to zero. Then they are asking which among these four is true, right? For the given y. So for that, what you need to do, we firstly need to calculate the solution to this integral equation yt is equal to y0 minus integration from 0 to t ys ds, right? So this is our equation, integral equation. So now we how, how to solve this equation? We do not have any information about y over here, right? The kernel here is just 1. Um, and uh, the parameter is also minus 1, right? And fx, the, uh, this function is given to be y0. So now, we can uh, solve this by differentiating this integral equation and then solving the obtained differential equation. So how to differentiate it? We, uh, we can differentiate it with respect to t. So this, this first term becomes y dash t that means the derivative of y with respect to t and this being constant this is equal to 0 minus integ uh, now here we have to apply the Leibniz rule of integration Leibniz rule what does that rule say if we had to do the integration the uh, if we have to take the derivative of this integral 0 to t y s ds then this would be equal to integration as such the partial derivative with respect to t of y s t s plus the derivative of upper limit that is t with respect to t and this function y where s is being replaced now with t y of t minus the derivative of the lower limit that is 0 divided by uh, with respect to t and this y calculated at the point 0 right so it becomes now because there is no t term therefore this becomes 0 and here this thing becomes 1 therefore we have only have y of t a negative sign is because of this negative sign right and uh, the derivative of 0 with respect to t would be 0 so we have y dash t as such and here minus y of t so this thing or uh, you can write this as uh, this. So this is first order differential equation. We can simply solve it by the simplest method, the uh, variable separable method, right? You can move all the terms corresponding to y on the left hand side and of t to the right hand side and then we can integrate. So while integrating you'll get log of y and integrating this you'll get minus t plus t where c is the constant of integration, right? So now we have log, so and we are interested in calculating this y. So we can take uh, the anti log or exponential. So we'll get y is equal to e to the power minus t plus c. Now it could be written as e to the power c into e to the power minus t. This thing we can call this as another constant because c is constant, exponential of c would be constant. So this is constant. So we have y this now. In order to have y, we must calculate what is this d, right? So for that, we need some condition. In question, you do not have any condition on this given y. So we, uh, what can we do? We can look at our yt and uh, we can calculate this y at 0. And why I have chosen 0 point? Because see, your interval is given from 0 to t. So your initial point is basically 0. So we can evaluate the value of y at the point 0. So that would simply be equal to y0 minus here I have solved this uh, over here. So it would be y of 0 would be y0 minus integration from 0 to 0 y of s t s. Now this integration would result in 0. Therefore we have this initial condition, right? So now if you substitute this initial condition onto this function by y of t, 
so it will be d into e to the power 0 that would simply be 1 so d would be equal to y naught because y of 0 is equal to y naught therefore our function becomes this now for this solution we must start, uh, check which among these four is the correct option right so let us check it one by one so first option first option is given to you this one so now uh, we need to check for the left hand side and the right hand side left hand side is y square t and what is y y is given to be y naught e to the power minus t so its square would be this and for the right hand side see this thing could be written as the whole square of this thing true no problem in that so now we just have to uh, replace the value uh, put the value of y so we have y of t as this y of 0 would be you just replace t is with 0 right so it would be y of 0 minus integration from 0 to t y s ds whole square so we just replace this thing by y naught into e to the power 0 t right and it is equal to 1 and uh, integration from 0 to t what is y s y s this this thing but t replaced with s so just perform the integration and then solve you'll get this thing now you see this left hand side is equal into right hand side therefore this is the correct option so option a is the correct option let us check for the other options as well so let us see option b option b is again left hand side is again equal to this thing and right hand side we just check it uh, it is equal to we'll uh, substitute the initial condition and here these terms the, uh, as such and the value of y as y naught e to the power minus s then we can solve this perform the integration put the limits and then uh, do the calculation and this is the final result therefore you see this quantity is not equivalent to this quantity therefore this is not the correct option for the third option we have this thing right the left hand side is again this thing y not uh, y square that means this square and here we have initial condition square and then minus of integration of y s y s is y not e to the power minus s again this being constant comes out from the integration you can perform the integration of this quantity it would be e to the power minus s by minus 1 right and then you can substitute the limits you'll get this again this thing is not equivalent to this therefore this is not the correct option again for the option d you need to check whether this is equal to this or not here you can see the left hand side left hand side is again equal to this and the right hand side for that uh, just again substitute the values so y naught square is y, uh, y naught square and this thing is equivalent to this because we just replace the value of the y over here right do the integration do the calculation and you'll see the result as this now this quantity is not equal to this quantity it, it oh sorry i'm sorry this is basically y naught e to the power minus 2t so this quantity is same as this quantity right therefore we have this option as the correct option so only option d along with option a are the correct option b and c they are the incorrect option well that is it for this video thank you for watching